the whole point of my talk was to talk about standardization and make sure that the products that we're supplying are in line with what the, the industry is asking for, really, and what our clients are. You know, we're boots on the ground here. We're supplying stations all over the world, and we're listening to what these various companies and industries are telling us. And obviously a lot of other big names in that, in that session. What are the other takeaways from that, from that session which you've spoken? I think the biggest thing is it's the first time that I've ever seen a panel all together that are supplying refueling stations. So these are all people that are on the ground learning about the, the issues that were coming into play when we're manufacturing stations, when we're supplying stations, whether it's standardization we need, whether it's codification, whether we need to really think about you know, supporting our end user with efficiency of products, rental agreements, all that good stuff. So yeah, really great uh, panel today. And Haskell have got a presence here at the event today. What, what are Haskell hoping to get out of being here at the NEC? I think the biggest thing is education. Okay, so we're trying to educate our clients to make sure they understand the impact of making broad statements such as really fast refueling. If you want a really fast refuel, you've got to get that gas down to minus 40 in line with J2601, all that sort of stuff. So more of an education to our customers, obviously to reach out to a wider base too. And obviously being here in the UK, what changes would you like to see across the country to help, help push forward this, this hydrogen future? Yeah, so there's various ways you can look at this. So from a government perspective, okay, so we've got the government this side, we've also got the tier one OEMs here. They both have to work in collaboration. Your tier one um, government sort of sector have to be pushing it from a mobility side. So at the minute, it's still very loose. The UK has been very sleepy in this area. You then got the tier ones, which are actually probably doing more than the government. So Toyota, for example, they're pushing out the vehicles. You've got Hyundai pushing the, uh, the trucks out and the cars, highs on, for example. So it's really quite an exciting time for us in this market. And finally, Jake, if you had a message for, for the industry, what would it be? Think before you buy. <laughs>